we love banana leaves because it's like you're unwrapping a delicious present every time. I'm happy he interviewed me. Like I want to cook for my my family because my grandma is a chef in the Thai International Airline. We're here at Chow Thai. It's one of the oldest Thai restaurants in the neighborhood. It's been here about 15 years. The first Thai restaurants I really liked and enjoyed growing up. So our first dish here, we have the chuchi curry with soft shell crab. Look at it. It's all these shredded lime leaves all over it. I was excited to see this many lime leaves just shredded up. Let's get it in. It's nice orange curry. Oh, the, the curry is so nice and creamy. It's not liquidy. It doesn't have a heavy batter on it. It's very lightly fried. Crab is fresh. You know, those lime leaves really are what make this stand out. Those lime leaves just make the flavor pop. Thank you. Thank you. The dish is not even on the menu anymore. It's on the old menu. So it's just chopped up fresh lemongrass with chopped red onion. We got the green bird's eye chilies for some heat. There's even some chopped up ginger, and there is chopped up lime wedges here. So so much going on. You have these big juicy shrimp. So let's take a bite with a lot in there. Mm. Oh, wow. That's really all these flavors are hitting right now. You have the spicy chilies, with that lemongrass that's very aromatic, refreshing. And you have that sourness from the lime rind in there. Then you have the spicy ginger and the, the sharp red onion. Wow, there's just so much going on. It's marinated a little lime juice too, and then you have these juicy shrimp. What a unique dish. It's awesome. First time trying it, won't be the last. We got barbecue beef. So it's the steak, it's been marinated, grilled. And we have a dipping sauce here. It's a chili tamarind dipping sauce. Let's take a bite. Sometimes they call this dish Tiger's Cry. So I'm just gonna make a tiger cry. It won't make us cry, it's gonna make us smile. Again. So our beef is tender, you get the really nice flavor from the grill in there. Uh, it's well marinated too, but that sauce really makes it pop. You get that tangy tamarind, got a little funk in there too in the chili for the spice. Barbecue beef dishes, they you know, made the sound kind of pedestrian when you first see it on the menu, but if you're at a Thai restaurant, you should definitely try their barbecue beef dish. It's almost always gonna be good from our experiences. So this next dish is not one that we order very often. It's Paki Mao. Most, many of you know it as drunken noodles. So it's the wok fried flat rice noodle. It's got tomato, onion. We got it with chicken, basil, egg. So the big reason why we ordered it, we had to get at least one noodle dish in this video. And Chow Thai is one I've eaten for many years, going back to when I was a kid. When I first had come here, and they do a great job. And so it's my first time having it in a while. The rice noodles are got that perfect wok hay, that breath of the wok on there. It has a really nice flavor to it. They're perfectly chewy. You have that Thai basil coming in to give it a real pop. You got the crunchiness from the onions and the red peppers. The eggs adding a nice flavor to it too. And then you have the chicken, which also has a bit of that wok hay on there. And then interestingly enough, the tomato. The tomato's pretty unique. That really switches up the textures. Even the temperature, it's a little cooler than the rest of the dish. It's crunchy. Uh-uh. Alright, the best way to eat iceberg lettuce, besides never, is sopped up in this chuchi curry. Man, we can't let any of this curry go to waste. Yeah. That's how you take some sad iceberg lettuce and take it to the next level. <laughs> There is just too many Thai restaurants in this neighborhood that I don't think we can show you all of it, but we're definitely going to make the most. Absolutely. So there's so many, and there's so many different regional cuisines you can get here. You can get some Northern Thai from Chiang Mai. You get the uh, Isan in the Northeast region. You get some Southern, you get some Bangkok street food. You get all types in this neighborhood. That's the beauty of living in a Thai town in Elmhurst. So this is a very concentrated area for Thai businesses, especially restaurants. So there's about five or six Thai restaurants on this one block. Plus there's a Thai prepared food store. restaurant in the neighborhood. That's right. It's called Thai Cook. Let's go. Look at that. Yeah, you got slinkies and tuk-tuks. 
very cool, very colorful. This place actually shares space with a Chinese hot pot. That is that this spot, they actually don't have gas cooking here, so they have to use induction burners. So it's like the electric kind of hot plate style. So. I cook, you say I don't have a gas. Yeah. yeah. I cook because I, cook. I can cook inside, but it's like a real cook, but it's, the food is different here. Yeah. So they really make it something out of nothing. This is such a Queens kind of spot. You know, we've showed you Momo's in the back of a cell phone store. This is a similar idea. Only in Queens can you find this. Amazing. And also, very recently, they were written by New York Times. So what's awesome is that the New York Times is a column called Hungry City. Usually they write up more of the hole-in-the-wall restaurants like this one. But it was actually written up by their main restaurant critic, Pete Wells. He gave them one star. So one star is very impressive. You know, you may hear one star. It's not one star is very impressive, especially for a restaurant like this in Queens, a more low-key place. So we're very happy for them. You know, we came here a few weeks ago for the first time, really enjoyed it. So we love seeing places get well-deserved recognition. All right, so first up, we got something nice and light, but it does not smell nice and light. It's actually a steam squid. It's lime chili steam squid, so you can smell so much. You smell lemongrass, you smell the chilies, you see all that cilantro. Sorry, Jumi. <laughs> you see these big red chilies. You got this wedge of lime right here. It's a very nice way to start off, very light and refreshing dish. Let's take a bite of this. Mmm. Mmm. The squid is so tender. It does not have any fishy flavor. It's very fresh. You get that beautiful lemongrass, cilantro, chili mix here. So you get a little spicy, a little tangy from the lime, and just that refreshing cilantro flavor. So good. Mm, this is great. All right. So we also got we got the yum pork liver. So take a whiff. You can take. You can smell. You can smell that toasted rice powder. You see there's a lot of crushed chili pepper here, chili powder, uh, lots of cilantro, of course again, uh, red onions. And what I really notice here first is that the pork liver is sliced very thin, it's large pieces. And yeah, we're pretty used to having the pork liver that's a little thicker, more like triangular shape, square shape. But this one looks very different, very excited to try it. So it looks similar a lot, but with a, with a I cook twist. All right, time to take a bite, it smells amazing, let's go. Get that creamy liver flavor. So, if you love liver, it's the dish for you. Um, it's well prepared. You get the nice crunchy texture from the toasted rice powder, which I love. I love, I've always loved that texture. You also get the crunch from the red onions. And you get the sharp freshness of the cilantro. Oh man, that takes more bites. Mm. It's a really nice dish here. Spicy, tangy, uh, crunchy. It's got a lot going on here. Cilantro, lime. Dressing. You hate cilantro like I am. It's good. The lime cuts the cilantro bug soapy taste, which is really very important. Up cafe for dessert and savory apples. We're here, of course, for just more savory. So we got dessert here before in our frozen dessert video. Check it out up here above. We got an awesome Thai tea slush. Here we order the pork lob. So the pork lob has lots of ground pork, but they're also very generous with their slices of liver, which we're really happy about. You can smell the lime juice here, the fish sauce. It's got a lot of crushed chilies and the toasted rice powder, and there's also cilantro in here. Man, this is this is one of our favorite dishes here from Teacup. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite. Mm. Wow. We asked for it medium spicy, which is always the role of the dice in this place, because medium spicy could really be much hotter. But this actually is perfectly medium spicy. You really taste that rice powder. You taste that tanginess from the lime, the funk from the fish sauce. The chilies give that nice spicy kick, but that pork is just perfectly cooked. It's so nice, it's juicy. I, I love the amount of sauce. And then you have the red onions here for a little crunch. Oh, it's delicious. Now let's have a bite of that liver. Mmm. That liver is just so creamy and good. 
you can actually order a whole liver lop here if you want, but it's nice to have a couple different textures and types of meats here. So good. Of course. They give you rice. What do you do with the rice? You eat your food with rice. Wow. Mm. So we're right at the epicenter of Thai Town, and this block right behind me, and a few blocks up. They're closed. They're closed during Songkran Festival. We're right outside Khao Kang. It is the one of the only two Thai steam table in this neighborhood. It's one of our favorite places to eat. But we're not here for the steam table. We're here on a weekend for a weekend only special. I'm gonna show you what that is. We're really excited. Yes. So here's our weekend special that we're telling you about. It's called homok. So there's actually two types that sell here. So if you're familiar with the kamai dish, fish amok, sounds similar, amok, homok. So this one actually looks much more like the kamai version. So it is like a fish, steamed fish with a bunch of different spices and herbs in here. This one is topped with the coconut cream. Let's take a bite, it looks really good. Mm. So full of flavor in this little package here. So the fish, there it's not a fishy flavor you get the spicy chili you get some lemongrass in here you definitely get the lime leaves you can see the shredded lime leaves on top you get that coconut cream that adds a little creaminess to it not too spicy this one it's so good you can eat like 10 of these it's amazing mm. so this is the other home look this one is really special because it's wrapped in banana leaves so you know we love banana leaves because it's like you're unwrapping a delicious present every time this one has a lot of basil on top at first glance. This one's a little heftier. Let's take a bite. Mm. Wow. This one has even more intense flavor than the other. Much spicier. You can taste that right away. Good thing we have our Thai tea to go with it. But the basil's very fragrant. Got a lot of the lime leaves. Very spicy, but one of the big differences here, you can actually see whole shreds of galangal in here too. Wow, good. this is another one, you can just eat this all the time. It's so good, but they only have it on a weekend, so if you want it, come Saturdays and Sundays, call ahead, because it sells out fast. Do reservations. We've come to the last stop, which involves dessert. Kanam, we got a couple sweets. They rotate their desserts, so sometimes they're out of things. So what we got, we got coconut pudding, and then we also got the steamed purple yam. So let's give it a shot. Really nice. So you get that layer of the coconut on top, like a pudding. Then inside is like a gelatin. The pandan below. And I like it's not too sweet. It's a little slight bit of saltiness. Very good, very nice. I like the desserts here, not too sweet. Very refreshing after the spicy food we just had. Let's try this uh, steamed purple yam. It's topped with shredded coconut. Looks good. The texture is kind of like gelatin, kind of like uh, nyonya kue. So let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Yep. You really taste that purple yam. Very strong purple yam flavor. A slight saltiness on that shredded coconut. It adds a little crunch to it. Wow, it's really good. Also, not sweet at all. It's, it's perfect. Just a slight touch of sweetness, that's it. Mm. So, Thai restaurants in Thai town, they're highly concentrated. So, it's really hard to um, do a food tour in just one day. So, good thing we were on a Thai food bench. So, we decided to film it. Why not? <laughs> Yourself a couple more days. Yeah, one day is not going to cut it. <laughs> Your stomach will thank you. I think we just transported ourselves to Thailand. Just kidding. <laughs> we're still in New York City. Yeah, we're actually just a few blocks away from the epicenter of the Thai town, and there is a beautiful Thai temple right here. It is amazing.